SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalman Toff. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. We are going to export purchasing dot vendor table with the SSIS import export wizard and then we are going to import it back to a new table and this is a new table which is um, just a script script of the source table we have a red squiggly due to IntelliSense is active and what IntelliSense is telling us there is already an object named vendor in the database that may not be correct what we have to do go to IntelliSense in edit and refresh local cache if it goes away that means yes it went away so we are safe to create the table this is going to be the destination table so what is our source table the source table is purchasing vendor let's check out the data as we see in the name there are special characters like periods and commas as well and uh, same for the publishing web service special characters so what we want to do is uh, to enclose these um, strings in double quotes just to be on the safe side for exporting and importing it back correctly so let's start the wizard the wizard is right click and tasks and export so export is going to be the first leg of the journey next the data source is the AdventureWorks 2012 database next the destination is a flat file and we have to enter the name of a flat file so this is the name of a flat file and tax qualifier so this is this is a double quote which is going to surround the values in each column to make sure that we are not getting um, failure due to the special characters in the text column names in first data row that's fine and copy data from one or more tables and the table is purchasing purchasing vendor this is our source so let's check the mapping and this is the mapping we see the types are not the same as uh, T-SQL types these are SSIS types okay column delimiter is comma row delimiter is carriage return line feed preview looks good next run immediately finish finish 104 rows transferred so it was successful now we are going to import it so let's uh, right click on AdventureWorks 2012 tasks and import data next 
So our data source is going to be a flat file. This is how a flat file looks. First is the header line and then we have the data lines. And it is Vendor Journal CSV, Tax Qualifier, very important, we have a Tax Qualifier, double quote, and the column names in the first data row. Next. It looks good. Advanced. It looks good. There are some issues though. There is no metadata which we sent along. So, for example, how do we know that the output is sufficient enough? We have to take a look at this. We can make adjustment right here. Certainly this is much bigger than 50. If you look at the name, the name is defined as a user-defined type name. So we have to look up what is the definition of, of a user-defined type. So if we look in Object Explorer, we see that the name is nvarchar50. And Purchasing Web Services and Watcher 2024. We'll have a second opportunity to change the mapping. Certain mapping we can change here. This we can change right here, it's easy. We change it to 4 byte integer. Next. The destination next is going to be a different table, a vendor table. Edit mappings. Now, this is the mappings we are familiar with. So, this is NVAR chart 50, and this is and watch our 1024. So it picks the mapping from the table, the defined table, so it looks correct. It is a good mapping. Okay. Next, we have lots of yellow triangles. Hopefully, not going to cause any difficulty. And we were successful, actually, transferring. Now, part of the success that we had were table ready. If we would have to define the table as part of the import, uh, it would have been more difficult. So if we do a select from this table, select star from vendor, we should have good data. And indeed, we have uh, good data. The SSIS Import Export Wizard is an excellent tool for exporting data from a database or importing data to a database. Yet, we still have to be careful because there are some options. We have to make sure that we click on the options, we enter the expected uh, control data to have a successful transfer in and out from the database. This is the end of a short demo.